later, he boasted to the others. Dragon says I don't need him now. Don't be so daft, snorted Poof. I never go without my driver, said Toby, earnestly. You don't? You don't change your shirt? I'd be frightened. Ha! Boasted Thomas. I'm not scared. You never dare! I would then. You'll see. The next morning, the fire lighter came. Thomas grabs Tommy as the warm blood through his boiler. Percy and Toby were still asleep. Thomas suddenly remembered. Silly stick in the mud! He chuckled. I'll show them. Driver said I can manage without him. I'll just go out. Then I'll stop the wheeze. That will make them jump. <laughs> Thomas flashed me being clever. Really, he was only moving because the careless cleaner had muddled in his control. He seemed to have a mistake. He tried to wheeze. They could. He tried to stop, but he couldn't. He just kept rolling along. He didn't dare look at what was coming next. There was the station master's house. The station master was about to have breakfast. Hollers! cried Thomas and shut his eyes. The house rocked. Broken glass tables, glass there were everywhere. Thomas collected a bush on his he peered into the woods and steeps. 